Well, I'd like to see Mr. Prescott, please. Do you have an appointment? Well, you know, I tried to get one, but I couldn't, so I just thought I'd surprise him. Mr. Prescott doesn't like surprises. Everybody likes surprises. Not Mr. Prescott. You can leave your name. Uh, Brantley Foster. Of? Mr. Of, uh, Kansas. Of what company? What do you want to see Mr. Prescott about? About being his nephew. Oh. Well, why don't you have a seat? I'll see if I can work you into Mr. Prescott's schedule. Thank you. Give Uncle Howard my card. Are you really Mr. Prescott's nephew? In a roundabout sort of way. You son of a bitch, don't have a half a brain between you. I'm looking at a $300 million deficit here because you idiots didn't have sense to make the needs of a changing market. Uncle Howard? Now get out. You're all of you. And bring me back some new ideas or I'll work. But I'll hang a hedge mounted on my wall. Geez, he's gonna burst a blood vessel. Yeah, wishful thinking. I'll see if I can get you in now. Thank you. You know, it can't be good for his heart to shout that way. He doesn't have a heart. <laughs> what? Murray, you what? Brantley Foster is here to see you. I don't know any Brantley Foster. Your nephew from Kansas. Who? Kansas. Mr. Prescott will see you now. Clever. So you're one of the Kansas Fosters, huh? Shirt tail relative, to say the least. Listen, I know you probably told your secretary to get me out of here in five minutes. Two. Right. So, I'll get right to the point. I need a job, Uncle Howard. Around here, I'm Mr. Prescott. Do you have any idea what we do here? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Pemrose is a multinational conglomerate with 27 different divisions, products ranging from dog food to guided missile systems. There are 30,000 people working in this building alone. Their accumulated salary is higher than the gross national product of half the nation's the common market. Last year, we borrowed more money from banks than Mexico did. It's a great company, Uncle. Mr. Prescott. That's why I'm here. What can you do for us, Brantley? What experience have you had? Practically none. But I believe in myself. Doesn't that count for something? Deep inside, I know I can do anything if I just get a chance. to when you were my age. Remember how you felt when you went after that first job? Remember how you wanted it so badly you couldn't sleep the night before the interview? Remember how crushed you were when the guy said, what kind of experience have you got? You wanted to shake your fists and say, I can do anything if I can just get a chance. They're ready for you in the boardroom, Mr. Prescott. Call Bates and personnel. Tell them I'm sending somebody down. Well, you're in the front door, kid. What you do on this side of it is up to you. Congratulations. You really must have taken a shine to you. Thanks. Warm guy.